tous, je suis à Madrid, au cœur de l'Espagne, toujours en quête d'innovation. Justement, je vous ai dégoté une start-up avec qui on va discuter Internet des objets. Vous allez voir. À quelques minutes de la place à Mayor, je vous emmène découvrir Cariotes, une start-up fondée il y a 5 ans par Miguel Castillo Olgado. Hello Miguel. Hi, nice to meet you. Welcome nice to, to Cariotes. Could you tell us the story behind your company? We are one of the leading companies in IoT. So we manufacture software that is uh, widely used around the world. Basically, we enable companies to develop IoT products. Et chez Cariot, on a une technique très originale pour vous expliquer les choses. Une ville reconstituée en Lego. Des poubelles aux lampadaires connectées, on peut tout piloter grâce aux solutions Cariot. Et cela vaut même pour les places de parking, un sujet sur lequel Cariot collabore avec Orange. How did you start working with Orange So we have established two goals with our relationship with Orange inside the Orange Fab program. For example, we are working on bringing this technology available to Orange customers. And we are also working with Orange to uh, uh, do R&D on technology for IoT networks, like making energy efficiency and making more data available to the cloud. Okay. Une collaboration technologique qui a déjà vu le jour de manière très concrète. Pour mieux comprendre, Miguel m'emmène à Pozuelo, en banlieue de Madrid. Grâce à une simple application, je consulte la disponibilité de plus de 5000 places de parking équipées de capteurs. Un gain de temps incroyable pour dénicher les places libres. What does the future hold for you and Orange Definitely, we want to work with Orange, uh, making this technology available to more citizens and more industrial companies willing to develop connected products. Je serais bien resté sous la chaleur madrilène, mais j'ai une dernière personne à rencontrer et pour ça, direction la France. Après notre escapade madrilène, nous voici maintenant à Paris, plus précisément à Châtillon, à Orange Garden. On va rencontrer Luis Santos qui justement va nous parler de Cariot. So I met Cariot in Madrid. Do you remember the first time you met them? What was your first thought when you saw them? Ah, uh, that's a very good question. In fact, I didn't meet them personally. Oh, okay. Uh, it, was, it was my team. <laughs> Uh, they found them in a meeting of uh, digital economy and entrepreneurs in 2015 and they liked uh, them so much that they came and told me eh, you have to know these guys, they are really energetic and they have very nice ideas. Not only are you mentoring them but you're also providing a business development for them, is that right? Yeah, that's right. They're very good at technology. Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, we can help them a lot in how to address a market, how to do a business case, how to understand the, the, the big opportunities and how to make the go-to-market to address those opportunities. What is your future with the startup? Are you going to keep on working with them on other projects? Yeah, we are now in, in, in that phase of exploring new territories. Uh, as, as we are mentioning about the example of the elevators we are trying to put with them, uh, if this grows, a uh, uh, more est established business, uh, something that can be uh, somehow industrialized so that we can replicate to different industries and to different customers. Thanks a lot, Luis, for your time. Thank you, Luis. And have a safe trip back home. Thank you very much. Nouvelle Vague, c'est fini pour aujourd'hui. On se retrouve très bientôt pour découvrir une autre start-up dans un autre pays.